Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? Yes. Really? Yes. Your life helps you figure that out, yes? You know that you are the creator of your own experience? Yes. Do you like that? Yes. Even when people around you are misbehaving? <laughs> you are still able to say, I am the creator of the behavior that you are offering to me? We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> That's a big one, isn't it? Because you are either the creator of your experience or not. It's not somewhere in between, which means you are either the creator of everything or of nothing. And if you are the creator of everything that is happening in your experience, then you are the vibratory reason that all things are happening to you in the way that they are happening. And it's such an interesting experience for you. We know because sometimes things happen and as you observe them, you are certain that it had something to do with the intention or the experience certainly the behavior of another and yet if you are the creator of your own reality and someone is in your reality performing in some way then you have to accept that you must be a vibrational match to that or it could not be really Abraham <laughs> I want my money back Please don't hold me responsible for the way others behave. And we say, we really are not holding you responsible for how others behave, but we are wanting you to feel responsible because it will serve you so well for the timing of their behavior as it relates to you. In other words, you could clarify your vibration to the point that people would behave in the way you want them to. Hmm. What about that free will stuff? What about you don't create anyone else's reality? How is it that I am, by what you're just saying, responsible for what others are doing? And we say, just play it out that way for a little while. Just decide that you are going to accept responsibility for your vibrational offering. And by accepting responsibility for your vibrational offering, we're talking about your point of attraction. We're talking about your grid. We're talking about the fact that at all times you are offering a vibration, a vibrational signal that law of attraction is understanding and matching with vibrational signals like it. And if you can make that law and that concept and this understanding your friend, rather than fighting against it, if you can accept that you are the vibrational offerer and that law of attraction is bringing you back what you're offering, then you can begin to smooth out the bumps in your life experience. Now, we never want them all to be smoothed out because you're leading edge creators and you want enough contrast to keep you knowing with greater clarity and greater specifics what it is you are wanting. But if you will accept that you are the creator of your own experience, life will not only go better for you, but it will be way more fun as it is happening because you will have that sensation, that authentic constant sensation of having your own hands in the vibrational clay. And it is so exciting to have an experience that you would like to contour differently and then to deliberately ponder it. We'll talk about lots of ways to go about that here today deliberately massaging the energy around it into something that feels better to you and then to watch the results of it come back to you in a satisfying way 
We know that when things are going well, you are more willing to accept that you are the creator of your own experience. <laughs> and the last time that you want to hear it is when things are not going so well. It is really annoying to be in the middle of something unwanted and then have some smart aleck say, you know, you create your own reality. <laughs> that would be us. We've been offering you an analogy for a while that sometimes it is as if you have dropped out of an airplane at 50,000 feet in the sky, planes going five or 600 miles an hour and you have no parachute and you say, now what do I do? And we say, hang on, it'll be over in a little bit <laughs> because there is a momentum to the vibration that you get going. And sometimes there is that which we would like to call it's close enough to accurate. We may clarify the word a little more inevitable. It's sort of an inevitable outcome temporarily given the vibration that you've got going on. And that is usually the time that most people are saying to us, I would like clarification. <laughs> I would like some clarification on this as I am falling from the sky. And we say, hang on, it'll be over soon. And then we'll clarify. <laughs> Esther had an interesting experience coming off the cruise ship and making the transport over here. Because as they come off the cruise ship, some of you have done it, some of you just did it. The luggage is all in a big place. All of the luggage, they take it from you the night before, which makes getting off the ship really easy. You just bring a very small bag of things you can't, couldn't live without through the night. And so there your bags are, and there's quite a frenzy, a lot of people, a lot of bags, a lot of sifting and sorting. And the wonderful people that were helping Esther and all of this great team off the ship were sort of guiding them. And Esther could see her three bags, her three very big bags. And all was well. They were on the luggage cart. But Esther started getting this feeling of discomfort about the luggage. And she wanted to tell herself that it was irrational, but it was a strong feeling of something not going the way she wanted it to go. Now, you could say it was a little bit like falling a little bit out of an airplane because there was a momentum to it. Esther felt it rather strongly. And she wanted to do what she really does well. She wanted to wrestle it to the ground and kill it. <laughs> she wanted to stand there and watch the bags and make sure that the right bags got put in the right van because she's a smart girl and she has seen the wrong luggage go in the wrong van to the wrong place on more than one occasion. So she has a vibrational pattern about things maybe potentially going wrong or she has psychic sensing <laughs> about things maybe potentially going wrong. Oh, what to do? Which is it? Which is it? Am I falling out of an airplane and I should just wait for a minute and it'll be over? So Esther decided I'm going to once and for all under this stressful condition, behave myself. <laughs> I'm going to put myself in the van like all my staff wants me to do. They want me to take my worrisome self and get out of the way. So Esther took her worrisome self and she got out of the way. She got on the van and she thought about falling from an airplane and she thought about going general. Things are always working out for me. But she questioned, what is this feeling about? And does it matter at all? And then she remembered that just a few days ago on the cruise that we spent quite a bit of time talking about when you have that negative emotion is really not the time to try to get to the bottom of it because there's enough momentum that if you try to get to the bottom of it in the middle of it, you'll just amplify it. And so Esther thought, I'll just go general. And she thought things always work out for me. She thought, how well everything had been going. She felt appreciation for this magnificent crew that goes with her nearly everywhere she goes, who make sure as best they can that everything is the way she wants it to be. They arrived at the hotel and Esther's bags were there. So was everyone else's bags. And Esther thought, so Esther, what was that about? And then they pull off a bag that didn't belong to any of them. 
belonged to one of the clients who was on the ship, some very well-meaning person. They had stolen her bag. <laughs> They'd stolen her bag and away they had run. Esther felt some measure of relief about it. It's always satisfying to see the thing that has gone wrong. That matches my sensing of something going wrong. And then Esther spent a good part of the night trying to figure out if it had gone wrong because of her or if it was going wrong and she sensed it. And we say a little bit of both. However, what we really want you to hear about that is we don't want you to be shy about following your impulse because you have guidance for a reason. And when you are standing in a situation where you feel that something is not the way you want it to be, is it so wrong of you to get out and look at the names on the tags? Because the people who were handling the bags had never seen any of these bags before. They didn't know any of these people before. They really were not in a position to really know how to do what Esther knew how to do. So would it have been so wrong for her to take action? And this is really what we're wanting to talk with you about. We want you to find this wonderful marriage between the inspiration that you feel, your vibrational reading, your intuitiveness, the inspiration that comes through, the guidance that is coming from broader perspective, and how your action fits into it, you see. We want you to be the physical beings that you are and to apply the action that you know how to apply. We just want you to do it from this place of vibrational alignment. Now we have to say to you, that we want Esther to know that it is not possible for her to have negatively created because there has never been a happier girl anywhere on the planet than she was being in that moment. In other words, they'd come off the most successful, most delightful, most fun-filled week. Esther said, I laughed more in the last seven days than I have in the last seven years. In other words, there was so much fun that was going on. And so she should know when she asks that question. Now she knows she has some residual stuff going on because she likes the right luggage to end up in the right van and go to the right place. All of you do. But she also knows that she was in a good vibrational place. And because she was in a good vibrational place, she was getting intuitive inspiration from broader perspective that was giving her an understanding that there was something that was a little amiss there. And it was not a magical thing to understand because there was chaos that she was witnessing anywhere. In other words, there were too many bags and too few people moving these bags in too many places at too high rate of speed. It was a, a perfect storm <laughs> happening, really. And so what's wrong with using your ability to think? What's wrong with using your logic? So then she is sitting in the van and she is thinking, those around me expect me to be good. <laughs> and I don't exactly feel like being good. I feel like sort of stomping around and looking at luggage tags. I feel like that. And we would like to give Esther right here and now permission to do exactly that anytime she feels like it. And all of you as well, because you can take this law of attraction crap to a wrong level. <laughs> You are physical beings here in physical bodies. You've come with eyes and ears and noses and fingertips and tongues. You've come to decipher your time space reality. You don't need to look into a crystal ball to figure out if your bag's on the bus. You have the ability. We just want a comfortable integration between all of this. And we want you to know that everything is always working out for you. But isn't it fun to be a deliberate creator? Don't you want to be deliberate in that which you are about? And don't you want this perfect vibrational marriage between your intuition and your action? Don't you want to just dance this dance where when you get an impulse, Esther calls it a hit. When you get a hit on something, don't you want to feel it in a very strong way? There are all kinds of things in the works for you, all kinds of things helping you live the life that you want to live. In other words, in the precise category of things are always working out for you. But how do you think that is? Lots of times it's an inspiration of somebody next door to make the phone call. Lots of times it's something that is just coming. In other words, your vortex is full of everything that you want and your grid, which we're going to talk a lot about here today, is your point of attraction.